Hi, welcome to SendFox. Setting up your email marketing in SendFox is quick and easy. Let me show you. Log into your SendFox account. Go to your account settings by toggling the hamburger icon and selecting settings. In your account page, make sure to choose your time zone and fill out your physical address to comply with can spam laws. If you see this notification, make sure that you have confirmed your email address to start using SendFox. This should be an email that was sent from hi at sendfox.com. Check your inbox for this confirmation email. The custom URL is the URL for your primary smart page. Enter a unique custom name here with no spaces. If you would like to receive weekly emails about your SendFox stats, Check the checkbox here. SendFox can create draft email campaigns for your blog, YouTube, and podcast feeds. Go to Web Presence and fill out the fields and click Add Source for each. Enable your feeds. Toggle the same button to either delete or enable or disable generating feeds. For a complete instruction of setting up your Web Presence, search for a video tutorial on setting up your account settings. To customize your send from email address and improve your deliverability, you need to set up your custom domain in the Domains menu. Enter your domain name here. Your domain name should not include https colon slash slash www dot. Click Add Domain. Click Validate to access the CNAME records you need to add to your web host's DNS zone. SendFox will generate three CNAME records. Add those to your web host's DNS zone. Go back to your domain settings and click Validate once you have completed that. If your CNAME records in your web host service were successfully published, SendFox will be able to detect them and then validate them. Remember that all three CNAME records need to be validated before you could start using your custom email address. Congratulations! You have just completed the most important part of your settings. Next, let's upload your contacts into your SendFox account. Go to your lists. Click on Create List. Enter your list name. There are three ways you could import contacts into your list. First, via a CSV file. For more information on the correct format of your CSV file, click on our Help section here. Second via your MailChimp account and third, through your Google account. Remember that SendFox will charge $10 for every 1,000 contacts in excess of your context limit. Check your context limit by going to your settings, then billing. Ready to start growing your mailing list? Let's create a landing page or as we call it here in SendFox, a smart page. Go to your smart pages. If you have a website, it is best to use our Smart Page shortcut by toggling this drop down menu. Select Smart Page Assistant. Enter your website URL here. Voila! Your Smart Page is done. But if you don't have a website, just click on Create Smart Page. Fill out the necessary information in this content section. Enable your feeds page if you would like to attach your newsletter campaigns to your Smart Page feeds. Email campaigns can be tagged to group them together. This is set up in the email editor. Later in the video, we'll show you how to tag an email campaign. Click here to toggle the drop-down menu to allow you to select the email tags you wish to attach to this smart page. Save your work. Then click on Visual to set up your smart page looks. Save your work. Click on Form to set up the form that will appear on the Smart Page. We have a separate video to help you set up your Smart Page in great detail. Save your work. Remember that your first Smart Page automatically becomes your primary Smart Page. But if you have created more than one Smart Page, you can select which one to make primary by toggling the drop-down menu here. Click Promote to spread the word about your Smart Page now. Want to create your first automation series? Click on this link to watch our video on how to create your automation. It's easy. 
Now let's create your first email campaign. Go to emails. Enter your from name. Enter your from email address. Select the list or lists you want to send this email campaign out to. Keep this checkbox checked if you would like to send an email only to active contacts that have engaged with you in the past 90 days. Uncheck it if you would like to send to all contacts that are marked active and to your newly imported contacts. Write your email content here. Use the different tools here to style your content. Add HTML elements to your content by clicking here if you are subscribed to our Empire add-on subscription plan. Toggle the drop-down menu on this button to save the draft of your email. Preview your email on desktop or on mobile view. Add an active email address here to test your email campaign and view the email straight from your inbox. Templates are your content feeds that you can add to your email campaign. Tags allow you to group your emails together. You can then add this tag to your smart page settings if you want this email to appear as a newsletter feed. You can add personalization tags to your email content. Click here to view the options available. Copy and paste them to your email body. Remember that personalization tags for first name and last name will only work if your contact records have first and last names in them. Otherwise, they will appear as a blank space in the email body. Toggle the drop-down menu on this button to save the draft of your email. Click the Schedule or Send button to either schedule your email for future sending or to send it now. Click Reset to reset your schedule. This is also the button to click if you would like to change your sending date and time. And that's it. Your Sendfox account and email marketing has been set up. For more information, you can visit our help section here or send us an email at support at sendfox.com. Please remember to click here to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.